Hi everybody, it's Kayla, and welcome back to Fixer Upper, the show where I usually attempt to fix up your houses, but today, fix up one of the awful starter homes, no offense, I love you Sims Gods, built by EA, because let's be honest, this one is a little bit small, but also like a decent sized house, and it, um, mm, it looks like this. So we're gonna fix it. <laughs> My first complaint is, uh, whatever this wallpaper situation is, because I don't know why, but it's there, and the windows are really small and really high up, and it just, it bothers me so much. So let's do a tour, <laughs> and then get a little idea of what we're gonna fix in this house. So when you first walk in, you find, boom, very dark inside. Uh, you have this big open space, as per usual in starter homes, because there's a lot of open space, because you can't afford much furniture, obviously. And they're also trying to give you, I think, room to expand, but it makes for the starter home being really weird looking and small and sad and empty. Anyway, that's the tea, but over here is the kitchen, fine, nice location. Again, the windows, like, this is sim height, right? Your sims can't see out of those windows. Like, that one you can, but the other, like, those windows up there, you can't see out of those. That upsets me. But over here is the dining room. Again, really small, but in a good way. We got a nice dinosaur out the back out there. We've got the living room, also small, but not in a bad way. The little bedroom, it's kind of like a studio sort of build. And then we have a little bathroom right here, and that's the whole place. <laughs> Not much to see here, but there is a lot of open space, a lot of room for activities, if you will, and we're gonna go ahead and try and fix it up and make it a little bit more functional. Also, significantly more expensive. Let's go do it. Okay, so we are back and we are fixer uppering this house. That is right, you guys. It's my favorite time of the week. I also haven't done one of these in like a bit. I think my last fixer upper was the one that I recorded at Sims Camp. And so, I mean, it's been a while. I've been traveling a lot this month. I'm finally home. That's the big update for you all is that I'm finally back from my like nightmare month of being gone for a week and then back for two days and gone again and back. And but it's over. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm home. Yesterday, I was so sick. Here's the thing, right? I've been sick for like a month straight and I keep not getting better because I keep traveling and so there's no like time to get better. And so I've just been really sick for a long time. Still am sick. Yesterday was a nightmare. I mean, we just, we really are out here right now. You know what I mean? But I'll be fine. We're Now that we're home, I think I'll have time to like recover a bit and I won't be on a plane for a while. Like, but we'll see. Anyway, Starter home fixer upper time, my friends. I have a few updates for you all. First of all, the first person camera in The Sims 4. If you missed it yesterday on the official live stream announcement thing, they have like this thing called Max's Monthly where they stream once a month and do like a, a state of The Sims address basically. And I'll link the VOD down below if you missed it. But they finally announced the first person camera coming to The Sims 4, which I have known about, not to wear flex or anything, but for like a while because I played with it when I was at Sims Camp. And so I've seen it before. I've, I've got my hands on it before, but I couldn't tell you about it until yesterday. And uh, big fun. So you missed it. They're, they're having a first person camera come in. So like you press shift tab and then you can, it shifts to first person so you can see the world like through your Sims eyes. It's so weird, but like in the best way. And it's kind of a fun story because they sort of made it as a joke. Um, this person named SimGuru Ghost, he, they talked about it kind of jokingly. He sort of like made it in his spare time and ended up being so much fun and so dumb and so good they just put it in the game. And so it's actually, they polished it put it in the game. It's coming out in this update uh, that's coming out next week on the 13th, I believe. So we're like T minus one week away from the update. And next Friday is the release of The Sims 4 Get Famous. Oh my God. Also my Snapchat went off. Wow, I'm so popular. Anyway, I'm excited about that. I've got some new Let's Plays coming um, with Get Famous. I also kind of want to do a Sims 3 LP. Like, okay, I'm actually not kidding. Like gonna mess around with that today and like maybe do a Generations Let's Play starting like soon. Thoughts on that? I, I know it's kind of dumb and like The Sims 3 is dead and whatever, but I kind of want to do like a mini Sims 3 Let's Play. So if you're into that, let me know. I, w I just, I love The Sims 3 so much. It's like my favorite game of all time. It's my first Sims game, so I'm like super nostalgic about it. And like, I really want to play The Sims 3 on, on my YouTube channel. I played it on stream a bunch on Twitch. <laughs> Twitch.tv forward slash Lil Simsy, check me out. But I haven't ever done a Sims 3 YouTube video. Well, I mean, I have, but <laughs> it's been a while. Um, 
because I used to do Sims 3 YouTube video. Like I did a current household a couple times, I think, like back in the day, but I think I might have privated those videos. I don't remember. But anyway, moral of the story here is that I kind of want to do a mini Sims 3 Let's Play. I've been saying it for a long time, but I'm like at a point where I'm actually ready to do that. So let me know in the comments down below, would you be into that? I might just do it anyway and see what happens. If it flops, it flops. I mean, just don't post it again. But like, <laughs> I'm ready. I want to play Sims 3. And like Generations, I used to watch so many Sims 3 Generations Let's Plays back in the day. Like shout out Life Simmer one time. I was, obs I mean, I think we all were but I was obsessed with her Generations Let's Play for so long back in the day. My sister and I used to watch it together. I probably watched it twice. And I don't really watch, like, Let's Plays more than once. I used to watch a lot of Sims LPs back in the day, but never more than once. I watched that one, like, twice all the way through. So... I think, again, we all have, like, <laughs> that's, like, the, the Sims LP of all time, right? It's Life Simmer Generations 1, but I kind of want to do a thing like that. Just, like, a, I just want to play with, like, a classic suburban Sims family. I am sick of all this drama I've been causing, and, like, I just want to have a little family. I just want to live my dream. The thing is, I'm so bad at making Sims 3 Sims, and I have no custom content in my game anymore. So, like, w would my Sims be ugly? Yeah, but should I do it on purpose? Probably. Like, I don't know. It's just, it wouldn't be a good Let's Play. Because all these, like, Simmer girls on YouTube have this, like, cute mods folders and, like, all this good stuff and, like, sliders and things in The Sims. But I didn't really play with CC when I played Sims 3 back in the day because I didn't know CC was a thing when I played Sims 3. So my experience with The Sims 3 was playing, like, no expansion packs, no stuff packs, no custom content, like playing just the base game for like a couple years and then finally being able to buy like a couple expansions and then that was how I played The Sims 3. So like, I don't know, I'm not super like <laughs> good at custom content and sim making and building and the sim I'm not good at The Sims 3, but I have so many fond memories of just like messing around in The Sims 3 when I was a child and therefore I, I wanna play it on my channel again. I just wanna go back to that, okay? I wanna go back to my roots. We should do a challenge where everyone plays The Sims like how they used to. I feel like I've seen someone doing that recently. Maybe I'm not like the mastermind behind that, but like can we make that a thing that we all just do? Can we just go back to our roots? I mean, to be fair, most of our roots are like sip sip. Here we go. I'm gonna spill some tea for a second. Oh, I hate myself for saying that. Sip sip, everybody. But like, many of our roots are playing with like white suburban families <laughs> back in the day. So like, yikes. Maybe not that part, but just like, I don't know. Go back to the how we all just used to play with like the having five kids aspiration and having like your mom stay home and paint and like <laughs> raise children. That's how I'm trying to play The Sims. Um, I haven't done that in a long time. So I kind of just want to mess around and do that. I used to play so many legacies in The Sims 3. Like I used to just like play, you know how you start with like 1800 simoleons on the biggest lot and like rise and grind basically. I used to do that so much. Like that's the only way I ever played The Sims was I would make a Sim usually like just like your classic, like, I don't know, she's a good chef and she's got a family oriented trait and she wants to have five kids and like, maybe she's a teacher. I would just make these like classic, like stereotypical mom types. And then I would just, oh wow. I'd get a dog that would go hunting for like gems to make me money and then use the gem cutter from Supernatural to sell them. This person named Sim Sweetie had a Let's Play where she did that and I was obsessed with her. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna link that one down below as well. That was, that's a pretty old one as well, but I loved her videos so much back in the day. Oh my god, I'm, I'm getting so excited right now. Okay, I kind of want to do a Sim 3 LP now. <laughs> I just, it reminds me of the good old days, okay? When we didn't have any cares and we just played The Sims for fun. That's how I'm trying to be, so. I'll link some of my favorite old Sims 3 Let's Plays down below. I've got a bunch, I'll link them. You can watch them if you want. If you don't want to, you don't have to. <laughs> also, if you haven't played The Sims 3, just give me a chance with this, okay? I'm I'm not gonna post like a million videos. It's not gonna be like my main stuff on my channel, but I just wanna do a little bit of Sims 3 things because I really miss it. It was my favorite game for so long, okay? The Sims 3 got me through so much in middle school and it's important to me, <laughs> all right? Let me have this. Oh, now I'm excited. Okay, hang on. 
I might stream The Sims 3 tonight as well. So in The Sims 3 on my on my Twitch channel, I had this sim called Gertrude. Uh, we pl I played this like ugly to beauty legacy thing, sort of like a Prittacy or whatever, where you like a breed out the ugly kind of challenge where I made this sim who had like the most extreme features possible, like just the sliders all the way up. And so she's looking a little bit of a mess. She always has like bright yellow hair and like she wears, cause in The Sims 3 there's this thing called Create a Style where you can put any pattern and any color on anything. So she always wears zebra print everything and her entire house is zebra print everything. And it's, it just, it makes your eyes bleed to look at her. But I play with her and so I'm doing this thing where I kind of pick her and I like, take her through these alternate universes of every expansion pack and so she's like been to island paradise and like owned a hotel and then she went to university and then she went traveling the world and then she had like I, she's just done it all basically she was a, a showtime superstar <laughs> she was an acrobat like and so i'm kind of like hopping around in these alternate universes and kind of like creating this fake timeline of her life but all in different saves but in my mind she's done everything so she like went to school and then she graduated and went and became an acrobat and then she went traveling and then she went and bought like a hotel and stuff and so like I said before she's just she's done it all and soon she'll go to the future like I still have much more to do with Gertrude but she's my favorite sim of all time at least presently and maybe I'll bring her back and let her be the star of my generation's let's play but the thing is I'm just worried about putting her on YouTube and then like trying to have her be in the thumbnails because yikes i just i don't think people want to click on that you know but do i care because it's gertrude so maybe in this alternate universe she settled down and started a family although she did already have a family like when i first started playing with her it was like a regular casual like legacy challenge playing with the family thing and then i got bored and started going like to university and back in time and stuff so maybe this is a another alternate universe with her evil twin si <gasps> with her evil twin sister okay Gertrude has an evil twin sister, also named Gertrude. I don't know, I'll figure it out, but I'll make it work. Well, this'll be interesting. Maybe it's Gertrude's childhood. It's Gertrude's mom that's the founder of this Let's Play. Oh, okay, I have so many ideas. All right, I, <laughs> I just got really excited. I'm gonna go now. Stay tuned for soon. Um, Gertrude coming alive because this is gonna be so exciting but also make sure to go ahead and leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things and in case you guys didn't know I post new videos every single day and so I will see you all tomorrow bye everybody Oh my god, what am I doing? This I'm actually so excited about this now though. I okay, I need to calm down. <laughs> I just I love the Sims 3, okay?